scared. Well, life or death, that's how Governor Robert Bentley described the importance of a state lottery. He was visiting Children's Hospital in Birmingham this morning. Bentley said that a state lottery would provide long-term relief to the state's money problems, especially to Medicaid. CBS 42 News reporter Michael Oder is in studio with us tonight. Michael, you talked with the governor, and not all the lawmakers are as excited as, about the lottery as the governor is. Yeah, that's right, Jim and Sherry. There is heavy doubt and concern in the state house in Montgomery about the sustainability of a state lottery. Now, Governor Bentley believes that the decision on this issue is clear. Governor Bentley framed the debate over a state lottery on Wednesday like this: Which is the most immoral? Buying five lottery tickets with money you earned. Or allowing a child to die. I don't think there's any choice there. It's the last choice Bentley says the state has. The governor toured the cardiac ward at Children's Hospital in Birmingham. He wants lottery money to help fund the gap in Medicaid, something more than half the patients at Children's are eligible for. But if we can get some long term commitment from uh, the people of this state by allowing a simple lottery to be passed, uh, then we will have long-term funding at least for the next several years. We're playing with time. Time, State Senator Jabba Wagner believes Governor Bentley's lottery bill just doesn't have. In my opinion, my educated opinion, I think the bill is in trouble because of the time element and because of the controversy. The lottery has many state lawmakers asking, where will the money go? The governor's plan pays into the general fund, helping in part to fund Medicaid. Another proposal by State Senator Jim McClendon pours money into Medicaid and education. When asked if Governor Bentley has a plan B if the lottery fails. You know, we're not going to talk about plan B yet because we're going to pass plan A. A lot of confidence from the governor on this issue. The special session starts on Monday. Legislators need to pass a lottery proposal by August 24th to get it on the ballot by November. In studio, Michael Oder, CBS 42 News.